Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to automatically remove silent pauses from your audio. Okay, so this is a quick way to break your audio into clips that exclude any pauses. So when someone is not speaking, and I have a clip for that here in my timeline. They run. They laugh. I see the glow shining on their eyes. And so I don't want to have to go through this entire file and cut out all of those little pauses there. I just want to say wherever you find silence like this, just automatically cut it out. And to do this, I'm going to need to switch over to Adobe's digital audio workstation, which is Adobe Audition, and that has more tools for analyzing audio. And if you've never used Adobe Audition before, I have a whole course on it over at LinkedIn Learning. So let's jump over to Adobe Audition. And the first thing I'm going to do is import that file in. So I'll go up to File, Open. There's the file I was working with, and I'll click Open. And now what I want to do is go up to my window menu and I'm going to choose Diagnostics. Under Effect, we have a few different tools we can choose from. You might be tempted to select Delete Silence, but this is actually going to permanently delete the silence from the file itself. The one that you want to choose is Mark Audio. And then I'll choose the preset for Mark the Speech. And then let's open up the settings for this effect. We can see there's a definition for silence or what we want to cut out of the clip and audio, which is what we want to keep in the clip. Silence is defined when the signal goes below a specific level for a minimum amount of time. Audio is defined as when the signal goes above a certain level, also for a minimum amount of time. But what's really handy about these settings is we have this find levels button. And this actually does a really good job of calculating the level for silence and the level for audio. So I'm going to click that. And we can see that the level for silence is minus 76 decibels or lower, and the level for audio is minus 70 decibels or above. These minimum durations can be handy to play with as well. So for example, with the minimum duration for audio, if you want to increase this, this will start to cut things like breaths and coughs. And the minimum duration for silence, if you increase this, this will keep more short silences between words, but cut more of the longer silences between sentences. But I'm actually pretty happy with these default settings, so I'm going to click Scan. And that's populated a list down here of everything that it's determined to be audio. And you can skip through this list by clicking one of these. I'll just zoom in on my waveform editor here. So that looks like it's accurately selected the audio there. Let's jump to the next one. So it successfully ignored that silence in between. And I can just use my arrow keys to step down this list and check everything. Another good way to confirm that you're getting the results that you want is to sort this list by duration. So if I click this the first time, it's now showing me the shortest selection of audio. So if I click that, I can see, yes, that is a bit of audio that I want to keep. If I sort the list again, it's now going to show me the longest selection in my list. And then I can say, oh, is this a bit of silence here? Do I want to keep that? Do I want to get rid of it? I would say this bit of silence is just between two words. So it's something that I want to hold on to. And then when you're happy with this list, I'm going to go back and sort this by the time code again, and I'm going to click the mark all button. And what this is going to do is add a range marker on every bit of audio in the file. And then the last thing I want to do is go over to the markers panel. So I'm just going to go back up to my window menu and choose markers. Here are all those range markers that we've just added. I'm going to click in the list and press Command or Control A to select all of the markers. And then if you right click any one of them, I'm going to say Change Marker Type to Subclip. And then the very last but important thing we need to do is to save this file. So I'm going to say File, Save. And now we're done in Audition. I'm going to jump back over to Premiere. And what I want to do is import that file into Premiere again. And I'm going to do it in this little bin here so I can stay organized. I'll go up to File, Import. There's my file and I'll click Import. And what it's done here is it's imported the original file here, but then it's created subclips within Premiere using those subclip markers out of Audition. So now what I can do is I can go over to an empty sequence. I'll select the first marker, go down to the very bottom and hold Shift, select the last marker. I'll add these to my timeline and there is our same original audio file, but it's automatically had all of that silence cut out of it. You can see that we now have a duration of 55 seconds and 22 frames, whereas the original was coming in at one minute and 21 seconds. So this is also a useful thing to do if you just want to speed a voiceover up. You'll hear it's much faster now. They run, they laugh. I see the glow shining on their eyes. 
But the reason that I like doing this with subclips rather than permanently deleting that silence out of the original file is I still have the ability to go in and add some of that silence from the original file back in. So what I can do is go and get my ripple tool, drag out one of these cuts, and it's gonna put that silence back into the timeline. And that's how you automatically remove silent pauses from your audio. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.